Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Jedi Master Anakin Skywalker, and today we will... Master Kenobi, Anakin is again using a title that does not belong to him. Anakin, we have already talked about this. Ahsoka can address you as Master, but otherwise, address yourself as a Jedi Knight. Come on, Master, it was just for effect. Step back and let the true Jedi Master handle it. Dear viewers, today, me, Ahsoka, and Anakin... Anakin, what is R2 doing here? I told R2 he could join us. I don't know, Anakin. This isn't something for little droids. R2 is right. It is just a kid's show. Just a kid's show. You know what? I don't care anymore. He can watch. As I was saying, we will be reacting to the episode of the Clone Wars series, Rising Malevolence. Before we begin, get comfortable and be sure to force choke that subscribe button if you haven't already. Now, without further ado, let's begin. Wow, Wolf looks so young here. Yeah, he still has his right eye. I have to say, however, that Malevolence has some nice curves. Say whatever you want about the Separatists, but they are nailing it with ship design. Kotoya, Master Clark. Kotoya, little Soka. Show off. You are just jealous you cannot speak in the language of Keldor. Maybe not Snips, but I can speak many more useful languages. Like, binary language. You have a terrible accent, Master. What? What are you talking about? I don't understand binary that well, but I recognize sound like drunk Frenchman. It's not my fault my teacher was French. What was his name? Pierre 2D2. How's the hunt for the mystery weapon going? We've tracked it to the Abogado system. We need reinforcements. I'll have to ask the council, Master Plo. I was given strict orders to protect our staging area. Oh, so now you are following council orders, Anakin, huh? Look, I can't just break the rules whenever I feel like it. I have to be discreet about it. Oh, you are truly master of being discreet, Anakin. At least you are master in something. Dude, uncool. Fire! Brace for impact! We're losing all our power! That energy field has left us defenseless! Damn. That ion cannon is really powerful. Why didn't we build a similar weapon? It would come in handy a lot of times. We are not like the Separatists, Ahsoka. A weapon this destructive is good only for committing war crimes. And since when do we care about not committing war crimes? We committed like ten of them the day before this happened. You have committed them, Anakin. My hands are clear. We don't have much time! Get inside! Hurry! Let me guess which pod didn't have the main character inside. We must keep our position secret. Send out the hunters. I want all of those life pods destroyed. Isn't this too complicated solution? Why didn't just send out the starfighters to deal with them? Ahsoka, stop advising the Separatists on how to do their job. Nevertheless, I must admit that this is typical of Dooku. He always had to make things more complicated than necessary. He enjoys his pomp and circumstance. He does indeed. I'm afraid we can't risk any more ships with a rescue mission. Wait! Just because there haven't been any survivors before, doesn't mean there won't be any this time. Boldly spoken for one so young. Ahsoka, not only did you speak out of turn and violate Jedi protocol, but you also defied the High Council. I am so proud of you. Thank you, Master. You have taught me well. I thought for a moment that you started taking your role as master to Ahsoka seriously. What a fool I was. The air in here is getting a bit stale. Don't look at me. It's boost, sir. He only takes a bath on his own leave. Save it. Just keep working on the pod, not your jokes. To be fair, boost really didn't smell the best that day. I was getting that smell from R2 for two weeks. Oh, please don't pretend you didn't like it. It doesn't make any sense for someone to come look for us. If I was in command, I'd be hunting that weapon down. I value your life more than finding that weapon. Master Plo is the real Chad. 
No wonder he is so popular among the clones. I have heard he has the Plows Bros tattoo on his biceps. So have I. R2, set up the scanner, modulate for incoming mystery weapons. What do you mean next time be more specific? We didn't know what the weapon was at the time. The Abracado system. Huh. So it's okay when you don't follow what the Council says. Doing what the Jedi Council says? That's one thing. How we go about doing it? That's another. As I said, you have to be discreet about it. And I will discreetly add this to the reasons why will Anakin never become a Jedi Master. Finally some action. I was getting kind of bored. I wonder how they will get out of this. What was that droid humming? That melody was quite catchy. Let's finish the job. What's a Jedi doing out here? Master Plo is quite nailing that dramatic pose. Wait, but that droid is right. How did Master Plo get out of the pod? There's no airlock chamber there. I wouldn't care if all of them were out, but Wolf stayed inside. This just doesn't make any sense. You are overthinking it, Ahsoka. There was probably a force field at the airlock or some other plot armor shenanigans involved. It's funny that you say that considering you're the master and grand beneficiary of plot armor shenanigans. Actually, I just received word that Anakin has found the remains of Master Plo's fleet and is searching the debris for survivors. On whose authority has he done this? His own, I'm afraid. He is right. You are a dirty snitch, Master. Kiss my... Anakin. Sergeant, why are you so certain? No one is coming. We're just clones, sir. We're meant to be expendable. Not to me. Master Plo is indeed a generator of legendary quotes. Isn't that kind of funny that they didn't get back to pod after the fight? They won the battle and were like, yo, that was cool. Let's chill out a little bit here in outer space. You should learn how to appreciate moments like this, Ahsoka. Battle is won, and it's just you and your boys living in the moment. The only thing missing was a cold beer and some country music. Damn, Country Road Take Me Home would hit differently in space. You are taking words right out of my mouth, Anakin. It's a vessel approaching. Shut down the power systems before they detect us. <laughs> the droid. Sorry, little guy. <laughs> Yeah, we know, R2, you hate hard shutdowns. Well, it's a huge ship. No doubt about that, but I don't know. It looked kind of bigger in my memories. Things Duchess Satine said to Obi-Wan. Shut up, Anakin. I'm not in the mood for this. Things Duchess Satine said to Obi-Wan. I don't want to be part of this conversation anymore. It is a waste of time. And I don't want to waste another two minutes of my life on this. Good one, R2. Enemy ship targeted, General. Fire! You've got really solid starfighter skills for a guy from Tatooine Anakin. <laughs> that was nothing. Flying through the debris field with shot from Ion Cannon behind is like a walk in the park. Pod racing. Now, that's a real challenge. Did you seriously just say that pod racing is harder than flying through a debris field? Excuse me, have you ever played the pod racing level in LEGO Star Wars, the complete saga? Hmm, that's a good point, actually. Now imagine how the real pod racing must have been hard. Now the Republic will learn of our Ion Cannon! Your failure is most unfortunate. Wow, that was intense stare down. I just love how Dooku always acts superior to Grievous, and after something goes wrong, he is always like, your failure is most displeasing, Grievous. It always makes my day. Well, Anakin, you have done it again. You broke all the rules. Risked the life of your Padawan, and somehow saved the day and brought back Master Plo. I don't know if I'm mad at you for being so irresponsible, or proud of your achievement. His achievement? I was there too, you know. Ahsoka, stop being jealous. 
And with this, we will end today's video, our dear viewers. Be sure to subscribe to this channel where you can find new videos like this every single week. See you soon, and as always, for the Republic.